This young boy was bitten by his own pet python. Welcome back, Charlie here. Forget cats or dogs. Today we're looking at the most dangerous and at times deadly pets people actually own. From a bear who eats dinner with its family to a woman who was eaten by her own pet wolves. First, we have to look at this python. This pet is shocking on its own, but what will really shock you is who owns this pet. This little boy owns this python as a pet. This is Sambath from Cambodia. The boy wasn't satisfied with a normal pet. So one day his mother found a tiny snake in their village. She then gave the python snake to her son Sambath. But little did she know, this tiny snake would grow absolutely massive. Sambath received the snake when he was only three months old. Him and the snake developed an amazing bond. They would hug, cuddle, and even sleep together. Sambath even loves riding his pet python around the house. The python's name is Cam Rowan, which means progress in English. Sambath's mother had no idea the snake would grow 16 feet long and weigh a gigantic 220 pounds. Sambath's parents tried to get rid of the snake, but the boy and the snake's friendship was too strong to break up which is why this young boy kept the python as a pet for so long. But one day things went seriously wrong. The python bit the boy. He was taken to hospital and thankfully survived. But it meant Sambath had to give up his beloved snake. Sambath was very sad, but said he wants his next pet to be a rabbit. A much cuter and hopefully far less dangerous pet. Moving on, we have to look at this man and his hyena. Hyenas are some of the most ruthless animals in the world. They're known for ending many humans' lives and one of the most feared animals in all of Africa. But this man in Ethiopia keeps a hyena as a pet. He even takes this hyena and walks through the city, to the absolute horror of everyone else walking nearby. It looks more like this hyena's walking him than him walking the hyena. He can barely control it despite the lead. The man is named Abbas Youssef, and he's had this hyena pet for many years. He managed to tame these wild animals by feeding them meat. Amazingly, he handles these hyenas with absolutely no fear, hugging and commanding the hyenas. That's right, he even taught these wild animals how to follow commands. You may think that at some point, Abbas may be bitten or eaten, but he's had a hyena as a pet for over a decade now, and so far, he hasn't even been bitten once. Either this guy is an amazing tamer, or he's super super lucky, or maybe both. Moving on, let's look at this bear. Just imagine walking into your kitchen for breakfast and there's a bear sitting at the kitchen table. It sounds crazy, but that's reality for this Russian family. This family's pet is a giant brown bear. The bear is named Stepan. He's lived with Yuri and Svetlana Pantelenko for 25 years. They adopted Stefan from a zoo when he was only three months old, but they don't treat him like a regular pet. He lives inside the house. He also watches TV with the family and even eats meals at the dining table. He's basically treated like a human. He can even stand on two legs much like a human. Brown bears can be very dangerous, but Stepan is totally tamed. This bear has even officiated at a wedding. Just imagine getting married by a bear. Stepan likely would not have survived in the wild, so it's no exaggeration to say Yuri and Svetlana literally saved his life. Some believe that animals should stay in the wild, but I think Stepan is very happy with his adopted family. Moving along, let's look at this Kangol. The Turkish Kangol is one of the most deadly dog breeds in the world. It's also banned in many countries, including Denmark. It's also illegal to take Kangols out of their native country, Turkey. But this Turkish man named Yakup Direm owns a massive Kangol. The Kangol is named Baraz, meaning boar. It's massive, strong, powerful, and fast. Just look at the insane bite force on this dog. To make this dog even more scary, it even has a spiky collar. Yakup literally has to hide from his dog when it comes out. That's because these Kangol dogs can be very aggressive, but they're definitely great for home defense. I don't think any burglar would want to mess with a house that has this dog inside. Moving along, I have to show you this pet cheetah. I know what you're thinking. There's no way anyone could have a cheetah as a pet. They live in the wild, they're very aggressive, and they run at 80 miles an hour. But surprisingly, this toddler has a cheetah as a pet. In fact, a pair of cheetahs. Milan and his sister Kayla look after these two cheetahs. They're the world's fastest land animal, and are also very deadly. But amazingly, they have a great bond with these young kids. They live in South Africa, and even love playing with the toddler's toys. They also like taking rides in their family's jeep. The cheetahs are named Waku and Skylar, 
The two cheetahs were adopted by the family when they were just cubs, and unlike most cheetahs, were raised domestically. You may not think a cheetah would make for a good house pet, but so far there's been no trouble whatsoever. Although it is scary to see a cheetah walking around a young toddler, it appears these cheetahs are very well tamed. Next, we have to look at these lion cubs. These lion cubs had a rough start to life. They were born at the Rafar Zoo in Palestine, but sadly the zoo had been damaged by many airstrikes. But that's when one man named Saad Al-Jamal came to their rescue. He took a big risk and adopted these lion cubs, and gave them to his young grandchildren. His six grandchildren would play with these in the streets, and raise them as domestic pets. But after some time, these lion cubs grew up. They were no longer cute and instead were kind of scary, not to mention very expensive. They were also being kept inside where there simply wasn't enough space. So eventually Saad gave these lion cubs to a charity named Four Paws. They were taken to the Al Marwa Nature Reserve in Jordan, where they live a happy and healthy life today. Next, let's take a look at this cougar. Alexander Dimitrov and his wife Mariah live in a small apartment in Russia. What their neighbors don't realize is they share their apartment with a pet cougar. They adopted this cougar named Messi in 2016, and decided to raise him as their pet. Cougars are not meant to be raised inside, let alone in a studio apartment. The cougar eats twice a day, mainly eating turkey, beef, and chicken. Messi is now a social media star, racking up millions of views on Instagram. Next, we have to look at this pet crocodile. Meet Kojek. Kojek is a massive crocodile living in Indonesia. He was adopted by a man named Erwan 21 years ago, but it turns out Erwan may have fed this crocodile too much. The crocodile was nicknamed the Fat Crocodile by locals. That's because it weighed a staggering 440 pounds. Kojek is also 9 feet in length. When Kojek was first adopted, he was only 10 centimeters long, but he grew up fast and grew up big. Kojek was domesticated, but eventually officials removed this protected animal. Kojek now lives in a conservation park and is on a strict diet. Erwan was very sad to lose his beloved croc, but ultimately crocodiles simply don't belong in houses. Finally, we have to look at these pet wolves. Wolves can be incredibly dangerous animals. That's why most people don't keep them as pets. Sadly, Sandra Piovison had to learn this the hard way. Sandra from Pennsylvania had nine wolves as pets, but on May 4th, 2012, they mauled her and sadly ended her life. Her entire backyard was dedicated to her wolves, and would even feed them roadkill deer. But sadly, this love was not reciprocated, and these wolves ended Sandra's life. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these pets was the most scary.